Picture this, around 970 years before the Common Era, a son steps into his father's shoes. This is none other than Solomon, also known as Jedidiah. Upon King David's death, Solomon ascends the throne, inheriting both the responsibility and the legacy of his revered father. His ascension marks a turning point in the history of Israel. Thus began the reign of Solomon III and arguably the wisest king of Israel. What made Solomon stand out among the kings of Israel? His wisdom indeed. It's impossible to discuss Solomon without mentioning the famous incident of the two women claiming the same child. Solomon, in his wisdom, proposed to divide the child in two, each woman receiving a half. The real mother, in her love, immediately offered to give up her claim to save the child's life. Solomon, recognizing this maternal love, declared her the rightful mother. This episode serves as a testament to Solomon's wisdom, a trait that defined his reign. Solomon's wisdom also extended to his architectural endeavors. He oversaw the construction of the first temple in Jerusalem, a project of monumental significance. This temple, also known as Solomon's Temple, became a central religious and cultural symbol for the Israelites. Under Solomon's rule, Israel experienced great prosperity. The biblical narrative paints a picture of a flourishing kingdom with trade alliances, wealth and peace marking his reign. Solomon wasn't just a wise ruler domestically, he was also a skilled diplomat. He engaged in relationships with neighboring nations, forming alliances through marriage with foreign princesses, one of the most famous being the Queen of Sheba. Solomon's wisdom didn't just shine in his rule and diplomacy, it also found expression in literature. He is traditionally attributed as the author of several biblical books, including Proverbs, Ecclesiastes and the Song of Solomon, reflecting his wisdom, reflections on life and expressions of love. Through wisdom, diplomacy and the arts, Solomon left an indelible mark on the history of Israel. But even the wisest of kings can falter, can't they? Solomon, once a beacon of wisdom and devotion, began to waver. His heart, once steadfast in faith, was lured by the allure of wealth, the charm of multiple wives and the fascination of foreign idols. His spiritual fidelity began to decline and this did not go unnoticed. God, displeased with Solomon's waywardness, foresaw the division of the kingdom of Israel. Thus, Solomon's reign ended not with the glory it had begun, but with a lesson on the dangers of straying from one's faith. So, what remains of Solomon's story today? From his ascension to the throne, Solomon's life was marked by extraordinary wisdom and grand achievements, such as the construction of the first temple. Yet his story also serves as a cautionary tale of downfall due to the loss of spiritual fidelity. His reign, rich in wisdom, prosperity, and diplomatic relations, is a significant part of biblical history. Solomon's story remains a powerful testament to wisdom, accomplishment, and the importance of steadfast faith, forever etched in the annals of biblical history.